Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to consider the shift arithmetic right and shift logical right instructions of 8086 microprocessor. And in the last tutorial, I have already explained you arithmetic shift is applied on two's complement form or sign numbers, while logical shift is applied only on uh, binary numbers, right? So we're going to see the difference here because towards shifting towards left doesn't matter. Uh, in both cases, but shifting towards right, it actually produced some differences and we're going to see in this tutorial. So listen to this tutorial very carefully because this is a very key difference, right? So uh, we are going to test the easy example first and then we will move towards uh, with complex. So we are doing the shift uh, logical right first. The keyword is quite simple, shift logical right or shift arithmetic right, right? So we are applying what shift? logical right first. So let's uh, uh, change this code. This is basically shift logical right. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to put the value in the AX register, what value? 7FA4. So this value 7FA4 uh, would be what? Uh, in hexadecimal and if I'm going to convert it into binary, it will become what? 0, 0111, 1, 4 times 1, one zero one zero and zero one double zero right so this is the value of ax register and we're going to shift it towards right logically right logical shifting is very easy and by two unit because the value is of count is what zero two in this example right so these two numbers from the right side would get eliminated they will eventually go away from the result so what we are remain with we will remain with zero one one zero will come up from the right portion. We are shifting uh, towards right, right? One zero will remain here. Okay, I'm gonna take the one one from the left. Okay, that is correct. Then one one will remain here in this block. So one one will be taken from the left. And now we are remain with what zero one. So here we come to the logical point. Okay, now what to do? We are remaining with what? Two vacant places. I hope you can see that these two places are vacant. So if you are shifting right logically, so logically it's quite easy. You need to put the zeros in the vacant places. So I have to put zeros over here. I hope you have understand it. So what should be the result? Result is very easy. It will be what? One, F, E, and nine. Right, this is the result we expect in uh, hexadecimal. So let's check it. 7F is loaded, 02 is loaded. I'm going to test the logical rights instruction. Okay, yes, this is 1F E9. This is basically what C1, this is F, this is E, and this is 9. So this is the result we see here in uh, AX register. So this is what uh, this was all about logical shifting. So it's quite easy. You have to just remove the bits from the right side, the number of count you are just eliminating, right? And then shift the right side and remaining vacant places, right? Should be filled with zeros. Okay, but this scenario is different if you are talking about what? Shift arithmetic, right? So what is going to happen? Let's consider some number, uh, first of all, which is in two's complement form. Uh, and remember, in two's complement form, we actually represent some numbers which are in uh, negative as well. So let's consider some negative number. For that purpose, we will make our, uh, okay, this was the example. Let me, this was the current example. So let's make this number uh, something like B, okay? Because most significant bit of B will be what? What? One. So we will have some differences, right? So if I'm going to uh, apply the logical la left, let's see the result. First of all, I will test it on uh, logical left and then we'll apply the same thing on uh, arithmetic, sorry, logical right. And then we'll apply the arithmetic right. So B will be what one zero one one. So if I'm going to do the calculation for logical right, it will be very simple since I'm shifting towards uh, right. So I'm going to place two vacant places with zeros and one zero will come up here. One, 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 come up here. One, one, okay. One, 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 zero. I'm just quickly doing it because I've already done it one time. So it will be what zero one. So if you see the result would be what two. Okay. And 
f okay and e and 9 so this is the result we expect in logical shifting okay but this will be something different in arithmetic right so what will be happening in arithmetic right now i'm going to shift arithmetically uh, on the right so i will uh, i will be uh, basically putting the vacant places the two vacant places on the left because we are shifting on the right so vacant places will appear on the left side these must be filled with the right most bit if it is 1 we will fill it with 1 if it is 0 so we will fill it with 0 so right most bit of this number is what 1 so the two vacant places will be filled with 1 so i hope you have understand why i have changed the example in last time it was 07 fa4 so 0 was simply 0 so it won't create any difference for arithmetic shift and uh, logical sh shift so that is why i have created this negative number so now the shifting will be remain same 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 will be same okay 1 1 and 1 0 will be same and then what 1 0 0 1 so this should be the result of shift arithmetic right right so e 1 0 1 means e okay f and then what we should expect again e and then 9 so this is the result we expect in arithmetic right right we going to test it uh, in a while in a, in a later as well so why we are doing so because we want to keep the top uh, sorry right most bit uh, as it is because we don't want to change the sign of the number that is why arithmetic shifting is applied on the sign numbers or in two's complement form so now let's test this code in emulator environment right now it is shr which is logical right so we will uh we will expect this result 2 fe9 in ax register after the execution so first line is executed the next line is executed and third line so 2 fe9 okay this is the same result which we were expecting in logical shifting now change the code and make it shift arithmetic right right so we will now emulate it first two lines are executed and now this time we expect this result because it is arithmetic shifting so let's test this yes ef e9 i hope you have understand the difference between shift arithmetic right and shift logical right uh, and instructions of 8086 microprocessor still if you have any confusion or query you can post those queries in comment section thank you so much for listening